Hello, my name is Anne Thrash Trumbo, and I work as an evangelism trainer for the Georgia Cumberland Conference. Today I'd like to talk with you about what to take with you when you're following up on a new lead. I used to be terrified to go to someone's door and ask them if they'd like to study the Bible. I was sure I was going to say the wrong thing and mess up their opportunity to study the Bible. But it took me a little, just a little while to realize that my main purpose in asking them to study the Bible with me was because it's the best possible way to build relationship. And relationship is everything when it comes to learning, making decisions, and growing closer to Jesus. My mindset now, when I go to someone's door, is that this is a potential new friend and I have the privilege of joining them in their journey with Jesus. So approach that door as a friend and as a servant and as a fellow traveler in a life-changing walk with Jesus. So, what to take? I like to prepare a small gift bag for them before I arrive at the door. I like to receive gifts and I think most people do. It's disarming to come with a gift and it sets people at ease. In the bag, I like to place the first Bible lesson, the introductory one, whatever lesson you're using. It doesn't have to be this one, just whatever lesson you're using. And then I put a small book, a sharing book, or a Steps to Christ. And I often will add a Bible highlighter or a bookmark that my new friend can use in their Bible study times. When I go to the door, I take the gift bag, and in my pocket or in my purse, I carry a pen and sticky notes and a pre-stamped self-addressed envelope for them if they choose to do the study by mail. I don't put that in the gift bag because I hope that they will choose to sit down and study with me instead of study by mail. If I have a lead card with their name and address on it, I take that in my hand to the door so that I can show it to them when they open the door. I don't give it to them, I just show it to them because I'm gonna need that address again to be able to get back there. If you don't have a lead card, it's good to have their name and address written on a card or a sheet of paper. Nervousness has led me more than once to forget their name when the door starts to open. It's very nice to not just stammer my way through my greeting, but to be able to glance down and remember their name. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about what to take when meeting a Bible student for the first time. I hope that this information has been a blessing to you and the people you will meet at the door. If you would like to learn more about working with Bible study interests, check out our YouTube playlist on the Georgia Cumberland Conference YouTube page.